KAR News Time. 743. You're listening to First News this morning. The U.S. sanctions against key Russian and Ukrainian officials make clear there are consequences for their actions. That's according to President Obama. Yesterday, he warned the U.S. will take further steps if Russian President Vladimir Putin doesn't back down on the crisis in Crimea. We wondered what Congressman Tim Griffin thought about the president's handling of this situation, and he's joining us now. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And your thoughts about the way the U.S. is handling the crisis in the Ukraine? Well, I I am for sanctions. Uh, Unfortunately, I think the sanctions levied by uh, the United States and uh, the EU, the European Union, are are too weak. The EU's uh, sanctions are even uh, weaker or softer in terms of who they target, in terms of uh, freezing assets, etc., um, than ours are, but uh, if you look at if you look at our sanctions, uh, they are on select individuals, and uh, a lot of the, of course they do not cover uh, Putin, but there are a number of others that they uh, could cover that they didn't, and in fact, the uh, some in the in the Russian leadership. Even, I don't know if you saw this, but we're tweeting, uh, making fun of uh, the, the softness of our, uh, of our sanctions. And uh, there's a, actually a good uh, story in the Wall Street Journal today about the stock market uh, in, um, in Russia showing relief at the softness uh, of our sanctions. Uh, so I am for sanctions. Uh, Unfortunately, we're at a point where it looks like uh, uh, Crimea is is lost, and uh, the next flashpoint will be uh, the rest of Ukraine and what happens there. Uh, It's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to reverse what appears to me and and appears to a lot of Russian experts to be a, uh, a reconstitution uh, of the, the the Soviet Union, that's that's what Putin wants to do. Uh, how do we know that? Uh, he has said that uh, it's one of the great tragedies was the breakup uh, of the Soviet Union. So um, I'm I'm for sanctions. I think the president needs to take another look and and get a little more serious. I also think that it would be helpful if we could get the EU uh, on the same page as us in terms of the specifics of our sanctions so that we have a unified front. But, Bob, a lot of this is because we missed opportunities in the past. Uh, If you wait, you know, I hate to analogize to our fiscal situation as a country, but the longer you wait when there is a crisis brewing, the fewer and fewer options you have. And about six months ago, I was approached by a local uh, constituent who has business interest and has done a lot of work in that part of the world who said, hey, what is the administration doing? There's something brewing over there. I went, I actually went to the uh, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, on behalf of this constituent and just said, hey, I just want you to know there's a lot of stuff going on, and he said, well, you know, the administration is doing very little. Uh, and, and so if you wait and wait, your options are limited, and I think that's where we are. What further sanctions would you recommend? Well, first of all, we do need to get, I think we need to get on the same page as the Europeans. Uh, I think that the asset freeze needs to be far more comprehensive in terms of the individuals. Uh, Some of the key individuals that were responsible uh, for the... um, uh, for the unrest are left out of the list. So that's the first step. Uh, but uh, whatever we do needs to be done in a unified way uh, with our allies. And that is where a president plays a critical role uh, through leadership is getting everybody uh, that's, on our, that's on our side of this issue on the same page so that we speak with a unified voice and we don't have uh, a split. The other thing I would say, Bob, is is uh, Putin is a student of history. He's been watching this president in Syria. And as you know, uh, Syria is a place where Russia has been very involved. And there were a lot of threats. There were lines in the sand. Uh, I think they were red. I think there was a red line in the sand uh, by the president. 
and Putin has been excuse me Putin has been watching this and the lack of follow through there and Russia basically has had its way uh, in Syria and that has not gone lost uh, on Putin uh, also with uh, the potential of NATO expansion uh, in uh, in Georgia and that part of the world uh, you know Putin has watched as we've sort of vacillated or, or uh, stayed on the sidelines so I, I think all of this contributes to an environment where we've missed opportunities and now we are limited in options Senator McCain yesterday sort of rattled the sabers a bit should there be any kind of military involvement on the part of the United States in your view and how far can this thing go look I don't anticipate any any military involvement and that's the problem uh, we we have very very limited uh, options and um, uh, so we'll just have to see I think uh, the financial uh, financial uh, um, sanctions economic sanctions is probably going to be uh, the best we can do at this point but again uh, we missed opportunities in the past and that is what we're, that's why we're in this mess. Now, the, the things we could have done may or may not have stopped uh, Putin from doing what he did. We don't know. But the point is, when you miss opportunities, you're left with fewer and fewer options. Uh, so. All right. Congressman, thank you very much for your opinion this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I don't know where the airliner is. It appears to be a tragedy. Yes, it does. And it's a really a big mystery. We really don't know if it has landed somewhere and is covered or if it is under the ocean. Well, 777s generally uh, in one of the most reliable planes in, in history. They don't just uh, disappear. This is true. Something's, something's up there, but thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your time this morning. Yes, sir. Congressman Tim Griffin of the 2nd District here in Little Rock. KARN News time is 7.50. Let's get a check of your traffic now from Kevin Miller. Brought to you by SafeAuto.com. Safe Auto gets it. That's why they help keep you in your car with the right car insurance for the right price right now. Because at Safe Auto, 